all of Russia. That shows the level he's at and the people he trains with as well. What a battle we have here. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. When I tell you stop, stop everything you're doing. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good luck to both of you. Big John McCarthy, our man in charge of our main event. Brett Cooper in the blue corner. Sharaf Davlat Maradov in the red. Cooper taking the center of the cage instantly. Yeah, even though he's shot. Oh, oh, that's huge. So early on. Oh, and he's dropped instantly. Yeah. Totally accidental there from Sharaf Davlat Maradov. But to oh. drop Cooper like that. That might be one of the worst cup kicks I've ever seen. Yeah, you know what? I'll give you that. That's the worst I've ever seen. I'm going to go on record. That's... And what happens with the inside leg kick, and this is why it's an intentional and just aspect of our game, is that the inside of the leg is a great target and you can throw for it. But if your opponent steps in and moves forward, all of a sudden, see how he moved forward? He was timing that shin for when he was at a certain distance. And when he came into it, didn't make that adjustment. And, uh, man. It's going to be one hell, uh, at least early enough in the round that neither guy, you know, maybe they can recover. I don't know. I'm trying to look for some silver lining. Well, that got, just hurts. I'm in agony. Well, he's got five minutes to recover. Big John will be giving him all the time he can. But to drop Brett Cooper like that, that is, I mean, the crowd are getting behind him. But I, in all honesty, he should take his. Brett Cooper's giving Big John the nod. He's taking the point. Big John has the right to do that, despite the fact there was no warning before that, and that was the first kick, just because it's a debilitating. There has That's definitely been an effect on Brett Called Cooper. it on point. The fact that that kick could, at any time a foul, unintentional foul, really has an effect on the outcome of the fight, where you're like, well, that gave Sharaf an advantage. Now, the point deduction that Big John just did to Sharaf puts it back into, uh, and evens it up. We are set again. Oh, nice jab, that stiff jab from uh, Sheriff. And he's got his head moving on rhythm. I also say that body kick, you can see a welt there on the right side of uh, Cooper already, just from two of those kicks. A good chunk of his camp out at Phuket's oh. top team as well. We've just seen the... Uh, that kick scares me of throwing it because I, I lost my big toenail for about two months because of that. You, you throw it and your individual drops with his elbow, oh. and you kick him right in the elbow. Oh. So anytime that, that when you hear me go, oof, I'm actually not going oof because the guy getting hit. I'm going oof because my memory goes, memory oh, yeah, recall. That man. hurt. Oh, there we go. Now it's actually Sheriff that engages the clinch. And Sheriff has great takedowns. And he showed as well with that win over Vibikas. Oh, well, he took down uh, Bergamoff, our champion at welterweight. And just perk him off. Oh, that's a big take down. Look at the strength there from Sharaf. Sets the hooks. One in. Brett Cooper controlling one of the hands there of uh, Sharaf. Yep, and Sharaf needs to be careful of not getting dumped off his hips because he's a little high there. If he can get that wrist control on the other shoulder, he already has a seatbelt position and a hook on the other hip. And Brett being smart about it, he's got his hips underneath of him. He's going to look for the right opportunity to go ahead and he needs to switch his knees. If he puts his left knee down and pulls his right knee up, it'll be easier at this point to stand up. And also close the hole off for that other leg coming in for the hook. That's the point Sharaf is waiting to make. Set that second hook, but putting his weight heavily now on Cooper, making him carry early in this. Oh, that's a big shot that got through. Uh, didn't have the position, and that's just the youth of Sharaf right there. Trying to force something into play that wasn't there. That Sharaf is built perfectly here for the welterweight. You're tall. Wow. Timing on that take. I think this might be surprising Cooper as far as a, a game plan for Sharaf to come in with. Uh, Sharaf showing great just his, how well rounded on his feet he is with the takedowns and with, I mean, beautiful long jab. His kicks have dropped and one guy, uh, have knocked guys out with body shots. And now we're going to see some of his ground and pound that was very good in his last fight there in Dushanbe. And this will be the third fight that Sharaf has actually headlined for ACB. Says he doesn't feel the pressure of that, just approaches it as any other fight. Really has a lot of respect for Cooper and uh, 
the career he's fought for himself, but says nothing Let's will stop him. for Cooper. Well, look at this giraffe just... Well, he was driving forward because Cooper was trying to get his hips to face the mat, face down, hips down. But by driving forward, it never allowed him to get that other leg out so he could create a post. And then that post allows it to where you push up against me. It's basically a pole vault where we're just going to push each other up. Body head there from Sharaf. One minute, 20 seconds left in this first round of our main event. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. There we go, another good stand up there for Cooper, abandoning, getting up to the cage. And Sharaf, great uh, transition from going from there to a, the back attack. Oh, looking to drop that rear naked choke in there. Pounced on that. Wow, if he gets it to work from there, I'm gonna be impressed. Oh, it is. But used it to work to mount. Yep, created enough damage or influence of fear, caused Cooper to have to get his back to the ground to avoid. Oh, and he's a big shot. Big John is right over the top of the action. He's not gonna let too many of these go on. 38 seconds left. He's talking to him. He's asking for work and defense, and Cooper's showing him something. Ben Sharaf is looking good. He's on the attack. Cooper, though, showcasing what we said. He's as tough as they come. Fighting out of that choke. Oh, that left hand is it's it's uh it's hovering. Constantly threatening. Sharaf Dablat Murad have a great opening round here for him. Well, and good for him, too, because he lost a point. So he needed this to go ahead and go in his favor, unquestionably, that he won this round. Oh, but Cooper making him play with a few seconds. Look at that. Yep. He's not done. He's not out of there. No, if there was any indication that Cooper was going to go back to a stool and quit, <laughs> he just showed you that ain't, that, hey, that ain't in the game plan, guys. And you've got to look back at the fight with Saeedov just to see what Cooper's made of. ACB 50. For two rounds, Saeed, of course, a lot of problems, caused yes. a lot of damage. And then in the third round, Brett Cooper just got out and charged towards him, caught him, beat him up against the cage, and finished it within 30 seconds to be crowned the welterweight champion. So always dangerous, and a little glimmer of that just at the end of the round there for uh, for Sheriff Devlat Murad to think about as he goes back to his corner. Yeah, not enough to win the round, but definitely a moral aspect to where now Sharaf, hey, I'm still here, I'm still fighting, and so, Moral victory there at the end. This is Sharaf working from Mount here. And his mount is solid. I've never seen Brett so much to get out of a mount there. So we are set for round number two here in our main event at ACB 76 in the Gold Coast Convention Center, Queensland, Australia. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Frank Mir. Brett Cooper in the blue corner, and Sheriff Devlet Maradov in the red. Oh, that body kick once again from Sheriff. Oh, that's the one he caught on Benny Ali. Oh, great double timing, but then there you see Cooper dug the underhook. He's trying to rip him up. Nice chain wrestling there from uh, Sheriff. Now taking the back. You can hear in the corner there. Sheriff's corner, one of the, uh, the members of that is one of his best friends, Dennis Kanakov, another ACB fighter. They've both been out there in uh, Thailand preparing for this fight. He's going for the switch, but Brett Cooper is staying on the side of his head with the arm, which nullifies that maneuver. If Cooper had gone to his left, that switch would have worked very well, but showing his such a complete game, great grappler. And now Sharaf. And this is interesting as well because uh, Sharaf certainly doesn't cut as much weight as Cooper does. Cooper has got that weight cut down. He cuts a lot of weight and puts it all back on, and he's making car Sharaf carry every single ounce of him now. But not being super busy. Oh, Sharaf just does that uppercut. <laughs> well timed. Sharaf is oh, biting him in. That's... that's Interesting. Uh, we see Sharaf tonight. Tell him I did not agree with what he just did there. Inviting Brett Cooper back into his guard there. That's a dangerous thing to do. Trying to work for something there. Well, 
Cooper now weighing down on Sharaf in this second round. Again, that decision of Sharaf to stay on his back and call him in, that, that could be massive. Uh, at this point, it might have cost him the round. And, and with that first round he won, but he didn't win the round on the scorecards because of losing a point. So the best he could have done in round one is 9-9. Nine, nine. So if he loses this round, he's really, you know, he's behind in the fight. Oh, Sharaf back up to his feet. Looks like he's hurt his nose there. Might be broken from one of those elbows. There's a welt just growing there. Oh, stepping up a cup. Uh, you know, when did Sharaf get here? He's been here for the last 10 days. He's oh. been uh, staying, getting uh, acclimatized. Smart move, but it seems like right now he's hit a little bit of a wall. Cooper sticking to him like glue. Yep. That Deep breaths from Sharaf. Yeah, Sharaf, that's, that's why I'm saying I, I know he's in shape. You look at him, but he seems to be struggling right now to get back on his rhythm in a fight that's not... He hasn't really been at a disadvantage besides that first movement there, but that was because he sat to his guard. Cooper moving forward. Growing in confidence in this fight. Oh, he's caught him. He's dropped him with the uppercut. Look at this. Brett Cooper has taken out. Brett Cooper's Sharaf, back. He's back. Sharaf Dablabaranov finished for only the second time in his career by Brett Cooper. That first round was all Sharaf. Sharaf showed all the reason why we give him the accolades that we give him. A ton of potential, great athlete, hardworking Mr. Martial Arts, travels the world to prove his skills. But hey, man, that's the former champ there, Brett Cooper, and very possibly going to be the new champion again. Well, he's certainly be looking at that title fight of Berkimov and Tumanov coming in 2018. What a fight that is. But he's re-established himself also. Let's rerun that Saidov fight. We were supposed to get that back in Manchester. Yeah. Absolutely. I think the culmination of shots there, uh, including the nose. Let's talk, let's talk about it. This is the uh, overhand right behind the ear. It was clear on that one. But here, he tries to duck and basically ducked into thinking a straight right hand was coming. But Cooper, being the savvy veteran he is, changed direction. So there you see the two, the right hand off the backside. And then, boom, he sees the adjustment as, as, as Sharaf is trying to slip the right hand. Fires a nice, a beautiful right uppercut. And that just was too much for Sharaf to withstand. Drops him. And here, covers up. Can't get his composure back. And Big John has no other options but to stop the fight. And Cooper now back on those winning ways. Very disappointed, Sharaf, but a young guy, ton of potential, constantly improving. We'll see him again. And they're in a very emotional, Brett Cooper. They really had to come through some hardship there. You know, that first kick to the groin, one of the hardest groin shots I've got to witness in a combat event. And he took it, came back, fought hard. And now you're winner with John McCarthy. Stops the fight at 329, round number two. Your winner by TKO due to strikes, Brett Fudoshin Cooper.